In this video, we're just going to have a walk through the standard demo shop that comes with your open card software when you install it first. So let's just have a walk through here. This area is called our header and in our header, you will have your shop logo or mini banner in this area. Uh, you'll also see that there's an option here for the currencies and also a shortcut to the shopping cart. So up here we have a search area so your visitors to your site can search your site and also your visitors can log in or create an account from up here in the header. They can click anytime on the home which will take them to the home page or if they click on the banner that also takes them to the home page. When users go to products on your site they can make wish lists and uh, up here they'll see how many products are on their wish list. They can go to their account, shopping cart, checkout etc. In the horizontal navigation bar you will have your main categories and we'll just mouse over them here and as you can see a subcategories underneath them. The horizontal navigation bar only displays when you have categories assigned as a top level category. Now scrolling on down, this area here is the body of your website and this is the area that will be subject to change. The layout here is uh, entirely up to yourself, horizontal display as is here. You could have vertical columns on both the left and the right and within those vertical columns you could have your categories um, displayed there or feature products or products on special etc um, or even um, slideshows. What's on this home page here is a slideshow. Um, even though there's only one slide in there at the moment, that's actually a slideshow. And then in this area here, this is a featured, it's a module uh, just for some feature products, which you can select on the back end. You can have another module here as well, as, if you like, um, with the latest products. Uh, or you could even have a module here with special products. Down the bottom here, we have what's called a carousel. So you can click left and right on that. And in this particular carousel, there are some uh, manufacturer's brand logos within that carousel. But again, it can be anything of your choosing. Now down the bottom of your homepage, in fact, of your whole website, you have the footer. And this area here is the footer. And in the footer, you will have information. And the information is the information pages that you create. So for instance, the about us, um, delivery information, privacy policy, terms and conditions, they're all pages that you create. And we can create as many additional pages as you like. Um, you don't have to use these here if you don't want to. And um, any pages you create will just be listed down here. This um, footer will be right across the site on, at the bottom of every page. And again, here we have uh, customer services, uh, contact us page, returns page, uh, sitemap, and on the extras, brands whereby your customer can shop by brand if you're selling various brands. So by clicking this, they can just go into the various brands. Next, we have gift vouchers where your site users can go in and purchase gift vouchers. We have affiliates where anybody subject to you setting it up on the back end can become an affiliate uh, of your website. In other words, start promoting um, your website or products on your website for commissions. And this affiliate module that's built into the OpenCart software can keep track of who sends what customers to you and what commissions, etc. that they are owed and here we have a, a shortcut to a specialist page so if you had um, specials on offer and um, you might have them set up on this page or indeed you could have a module somewhere on the body of the website and uh, basically it's down to layout how you lay out your website so it's something that you can play around with a little bit and uh, I certainly recommend before you decide on layout uh, to sit down with a pen and paper and uh, to plan your website as best you can. Now next we have the my accounts so in other words uh, when you have a customer who has an account they can click here to log into their account if they're already logged in on the website they can check out their order history here if they've made a wish list they can check it out here or indeed they can subscribe to your newsletter by clicking here. 